chosen one, become my blade. Cast aside all that you are. Throw down your life for the sake of my new world. To save the people of this world, I would give everything I am. Hear our prayers, God. Let your blessings rain down upon us. Yea, you are the true savior. Lead my people and become a beacon of salvation. In the name of Radiant God, I bear aloft this light and banish the darkness. so caught up in the confusion that the palace is wide open. It actually worked. To be honest, I had my doubts. It's all thanks to that director helping us out. If we'd set up the explosion as you'd planned it, that play would have been a real tragedy. Yes, I admit I might have miscalculated somewhat. But didn't you enjoy playing the leading role? Next time you go on stage. <laughs> Not in that costume. Light, you need to head for the palace's top floor. That's where you'll find Snow. He's heading for the throne of the Lassie.
There are already several chaos infusions within the palace. Watch out for monsters. Remember, be careful. I don't think I have to remind you, but Snow is still a sea. Thanks to his bonds with the foul sea god, he's been granted special powers. However, in return for that terrible power, He'll turn into a monstrous thief. A beast without a mind or a heart. That's one fact I really don't need reminding of. Of course. We were the sea once too. All six of us. Crushed under the fear of becoming Seath and cursing our fates. It was only by having each other that we made it through those horrifying days. We all shared that fate once, including Snow. I won't leave him to face it again. Not alone. from Bunafelsa. It was just a mirage. God didn't want me to forget the bait he dangled in front of me when he asked me to be the savior. But the moment I realized that, I became aware of something else, too. When I looked into Sarah's face, when I heard her voice and when I saw the promise of her return, I should have felt something, a surge of joy or warmth. But instead, I felt nothing inside. And strangely, I didn't care. Light, I lost contact with you again while you were being teleported. Did you notice anything abnormal? It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human. Something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The Savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want. Don't forget to buy a ticket.
afraid that this is your stop. Lightning, it doesn't look like anyone else got off here but you. Well, this is a shock. A tourist? You could say that. Hate to break it to you, but there's nothing worth seeing in this desert. There are some ruins out there, but they ain't the type that any decent folks should go to. Why not? Are they dangerous? They're just breeding grounds for monsters. Well, that and home to some legendary treasure or something. The vessel that'll summon the souls of the dead and open the door to the afterlife. They call it the Holy Clavis. A summon souls, you said? That's promising. Ah, bunch of nonsense if you ask me. Not that the bandits or the Order will ever give up on it, though. They've been searching for that thing forever. I don't recommend diving into those ruins for some fairy tale. Not if you don't want those bandits on your back for invading their territory. Thanks for the warning. Why don't you find those bandits' headquarters and see what they know? I'm sure they'll have information about the ruins and Clavis. I've looked into that Clavis for you. Apparently, it's an artifact that's thought capable of drawing the souls of the dead to it. That's about all we know. It seems the Order has been trying hard to recover the relic. In recent years, they've dispatched several parties of seculars to the desert. But they haven't had any luck, right? It seems like the Order isn't the only one interested either. The bandits also want it. Yes, the bandits that call this desert home. They make a living by taking what they can from the ruins and selling their finds. Are they bandits or grave robbers? I don't know how much this clavis is worth, but if it can be used to gather souls, it sounds pretty handy for a savior. Yes, it's the only artifact of its type in the world. If the Order is willing to spend so many resources searching for it, it's probably worth finding. The door seems to be locked from the inside. We're not getting in this way, that's for sure. Looks like the search is still on. Should I go now? As you can see, there are no roads in the desert. It's all up to you to find the way. The settlement nearby is probably the Bandit Gang's base. They should know something about the Clavis, considering how much time they've spent in the ruins. But be careful if you go in there. one settlement here in the desert. Hopefully, you'll be able to rest up there. But it seems like it's the bandit's base. They may not exactly welcome a stranger like you. Well, considering how they've been tracking me, I don't think I'll need to introduce myself. that everyone living there is part of the bandit gang. 
So don't be surprised if I wake up at knife point, is that it? Fine by me. It'd give me an excuse to beat some information out of him. You'd use yourself as bait? Just for that? I guess that's just like you. But don't let yourself get hurt, okay? I've been surveying the desert all these long years. But I have been completely flummoxed by those cursed tablets. Unusual to see a traveler around these parts. This is Ruffian, the only settlement in the desert. It used to be a real town once, but most people have gone and given up on the bandit life. We're all that's left. The buildings here are ancient structures from another age. I don't know whether to call this a town or a fortress, but it's definitely unique. I'd say definitely criminal is closer. At least there's not much of a dress code, other than looking like a thief. Why, hello. Looks like it's your first time to our humble home. Welcome. Do you need a guide? That's exactly what I need. That and some answers to a few questions I have. A woman who knows what she wants. Fire away and I'll do my best. Rumor has it that you bandits might be able to tell me about the Holy Clavis. Hmm. So you know who we are. From what I can tell, you don't look like one of those order lackeys. So what possible use could you have for the Clavis? Why should I have to tell you that? <laughs> you shouldn't, and you don't. You're not one of us, so you can do whatever you want. But I won't be telling you nothing. If you want to know what we know about the Clavis, you'll just have to join our gang, Monoculus. Have you ever wanted to be a bandit? Now's your chance. Not that we let just anyone join us. But we'll at least let you try out. If you don't like that, then I think you know where the exit is. And that's all I've got to say about this. Name's Adonis, by the way. If you want to attempt the trial, just say the word. I'll explain everything you need to know. You ready to see if you've got what it takes to join Monoculus? Oh, made your decision, have you? Then let me explain what you'll have to do. There's a giant sandstorm in the desert. You've seen it, right? It's been causing us nothing but grief out here, to say the least. Make it stop. That's your test. Off you go. Make it stop? The wind? Do you want a bandit or a holy woman? Oh, fine. Make me explain it all. Look. That thing's not exactly natural. People call it God's wrath. It's magic or a curse or something. If you can trigger the stone monument near it, you should be able to control it, including making it go away. If you know that, why haven't you taken care of it, instead of asking a stranger? What, you think a human can control the weather? That's just crazy talk. Now go and give it your all. Best of luck. Beat the monster near the stone monument and you'll get the key that activates it. And that's the last freebie you'll get from me. So if you want into the bandit gang, you'll have to defeat a monster, get a certain key, and somehow use that monument to stop God's wrath. Hearing what Adonis had to say about it didn't sound like anything a normal person could do. You're right, it's not a very fair trial. But then again, you are the savior. Doing what regular people can't comes with a job, right? that it does, but I'll have to beat it to find out. <sighs> and now I get to be a bandit, too. Could be a problem. The light of your soul is mine.
Huh. Is this the key? Is this how you activate that monument? That's the theory, yeah. It's called a crux and supposed to fit right into the monument and switch it on somehow. But not just for anyone. According to all the tales, only those chosen by God can make them work. It doesn't seem dangerous. I think it's just reacting to your power. Well, don't tell me. You, you can actually make it work? Well, shoot. I never thought you'd be able to do it. So you're the real deal. You actually got the crux to do its thing. Yes, the boss was right, as usual. You've got some strange kind of power that the rest of us just don't. Your boss? I don't remember being introduced. You haven't, but we've been keeping tabs on you ever since you stepped off the train at the station. But I suppose I should let the boss explain the rest in person. Cause, honestly, I don't want to get blamed for spilling the wrong things. So does that mean I'm in? I said the boss will explain in person, didn't I? You think just anyone gets in to see her? Welcome to the gang. You are now officially part of Monoculus. Light, you've stopped the winds and opened up a new route. This will make for a great shortcut to the bandit settlement. It looks like Adonis wasted no time in using your new shortcut. Why don't you follow his lead and head back to meet the bandit boss? The bandit gang was watching you from the very beginning. It seems like they were just waiting for the right time to talk to you. So the leader of the Monoculus gang saw through to your true power. It looks like you might still have some challenges ahead of you, Light. <laughs>